Hello, Technology Crazy here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the voice control app onto your iPhone or iPod Touch. This is for all generations, so it does not have the limited of the third gen, because Apple has uh, made a voice control app, but it's only for the third gen, and what makes it even worse is it's only for the 32 and 64G um, gigabytes. So, uh, first, you're going to go and download um, a few things. If you've never used WinScript before, you want to check out my other video. It's in the description, and it's about OpenSSH, or WinScript. And I'll show you how to use that. And right now, you just want to download the voice control zip, unzip it, and make sure it's unzipped. Make sure it says voice control dot app, um, and then open up WinScript and open up your iPod. Now, you want to go back as far as possible, so all the way back to um, the farthest back you can go. And you want to go into applications, and once you're done that, it will automatically take you to private var stash and applications. If you did not get that applications shortcut, just go into var um, private var stash applications. Um, once you're done that, you want to take the voice control dot app, make sure it's a dot app, and drag it into your iPod. And notice how I'm not actually putting it into a folder. I'm actually just putting it so it's not highlighted. If I have it on this it will put it into that folder. I don't want to do that. I want to put it in. So it says private slash var slash um, stash slash applications and that's where you want to save it. You do not want to save it under something else. So you just want to click copy and of course I already have that so I'm just going to can cancel that. And I do have the voice control dot app right here. If I right click on it, go to properties. This is crucial by the way. Um, it's on zero seven um, zero seven five five. Now chances are it's probably going to be on that already, but some computers might change that um, automatically. So make sure it's on zero seven five five, um, and make sure it's not uh, it's unchecked over here. Now once you're done that, just reboot your iPod Touch, or if you're on the third gen iPod Touch eight gig, you just want to respring, and obviously because yeah, obvious reasons. Anyways, um, and then you'll have your voice control application. Now, I'm not going to do a big review on the voice application, so I'm just going to show some pictures at the very end of it. Um, but basically, it's pretty cool. You just say, like, um, play this song by this artist and scroll down and scroll up. Or there's three categories, music, contacts, and what's the other one? I forgot the other one, but anyways, there's three categories that you say switch to. You can switch through them in voice, but you have to have a microphone in before you plug it in. So basically, that's all. And please comment, subscribe, and check out my website. I'm working on that, so check out some really cool projects like making a touch screen for 30 cents. And you can all check that out under my We section under um, under my website. So please comment, subscribe, and bye. Yeah.